Hello and welcome to Kindred Spirit Tarot. This is your weekly message for all zodiac signs for Monday the 18th of September through to Friday the 22nd of September 2023. Thank you so much for joining me. If it's your first visit, welcome. And if you are returning, then welcome back and thank you. For this week's reading, I am using the Tarot of Mystical Moments by Catherine Veltz Stein. So, friends, unusually, <laughs> I'm going to make no apology for my most recent absence. Um, after <clears throat> July, well, when I got back from vacation, uh, July and August were absolutely horrendous, cold, dark, wet and thoroughly miserable and more autumnal than summer and then we hit the 1st of September and whoa summer arrived. So I took off for the Cornish coast um, and followed um, a calling that I had been having um, since my last vacation um, that had just been getting stronger and stronger and stronger and that calling was to go to Tintagel. Um, castle of uh, Uther Pendragon uh, and father of Arthur Pendragon so it is said to be the birthplace of King Arthur. Friends I had goosebumps all the way round I felt so emotional whoa I cannot tell you how magical and mystical that whole place felt. Anyway I've treated us to a selenite crystal ball and also from Tintagel, um, I, I mean I kept calling it a unicorn wand and uh, the guy that served me called it a spiral wand but it's unicorn wand for me, <laughs> also selenite. Okay then, <clears throat> so let's see. What, what, oh, well, I was, we're going to see, I haven't done this for a while, have I? <laughs> so we will start with an inspirational message. So let me just refer to my notes. Uh, Mercury went direct on the 15th, which was the same day as a, a new moon. And coming up on the 23rd, we have the equinox. It's the autumn equinox for me. Okay, so let's have a card from Moon Magic deep moon messages because also the end of this month I think it's the 29th for me in the UK but please do check wherever you are in the world it's our full moon and it is our fourth super moon <laughs> wow so there's so much energy around especially if you look up all the astrology friends I'm not an astrologer so <laughs> You know, look to your favourite astrologer and find out what's happening. I think in October we've got Pluto's return to the USA coming up. Okay. What is the inspirational message for this week for my wonderful friends? Thank you. <clears throat> and your inspiration for this week is... I seek balance and grounding, a waning gibbonous three, three the trinity, so seeking balance and grounding, bringing you into harmony. Wow. Okay, so let's see what fabulous message Spirit does have for us for this coming week. Any advice? Okay, and here we go. What is the message from Spirit for my wonderful friends? Monday the 18th, thank you. Through to Friday, the 22nd of September, 2023. What do my wonderful friends need to know? Thank you. From the Mystical Moments Tarot. Thank you. Okay. So, your cards are... 
Hmm. I actually feel that this should be in the upright friends um, because the, uh, this deck, I mean, it just jumps all over the place. And I, I actually watched the card as it flew out, spin round. Um, and yet I'm really feeling that um, this hermit card, hermit card should be in the upright. OK, followed by Major Arcana, the tower. And finishing with the nine of pentacles. OK. So your first card, the first of two major arcana, so um, an important message for you coming through for this week. Um, major arcana, number nine, the hermit. So number nine, the number of um, its completion, um, it's, it's reaching an ideal, it's, it is the number of leadership. Um, and we have two nines here on the table. Uh, and the hermit uh, you retrospection and introspection are the two words I am being given immediately um, and the hermit does speak on reflection um, so I'm really feeling because you're seeking balance and grounding um, and the other thing that is important is the, is meditation um, so it's going within Taking time out from this busy world, this, oh, wow, there is so much going on. It's really hard to keep up. In fact, I've, I've stopped trying to keep up. Um, I'm not giving any of that um, that is going on out there, <laughs> any of my energy. I'm keeping my energy for myself um, and just looking forward to the new earth and what I would want to see um, in, in my future. Um, okay. And the hermit seeking the light within. So spirit is saying, going within, really important this week. <sighs> protecting your energy, protecting your light. And the gift of that will be... Um, The gift of that will be you gaining enlightenment, you gaining more uh, illumination. Um, and I do feel that's coming this week, friends. The, the, our beautiful sun um, has let off some more uh, solar flares. We have plasma on the way. Plasma is light, uh, light codes and light activation. Um, and the hermit is saying the way to receive all of this uh, beautiful energy that is coming in uh, to the way to integrate it um, is for you to be in solitude as, as much as you possibly can, taking time out from this chaotic, busy world um, and meditation. I'm hearing meditation, meditation um, and protection, protecting yourself as well as seeking the balance and grounding. Of course, grounding, um, very, very important. And um, uh, as the seasons are changing and uh, some of us can't actually go and stand on the ground, it may be too wet or we may suddenly have uh, snow on the way, uh, you can bring some soil indoors uh, and still ground yourself, my wonderful friends. OK, next we have Major Arcana, number 16, The Tower. Mm. There are lots of changes uh, going on at the moment and I do feel this tower card is just representing um, many upheavals, um, some of them unexpected, some of them some that we are some of us are already uh, awake to. Um, and I'm still picking up on, I don't know about you, my wonderful friends, but there's still this um, feeling of um, anxiety. But I do feel that it is coming from the collective. I feel it's coming from um, our beautiful sleeping beauties who are just coming out of their slumber. And of course, they are going to experience this tower moment as they have a sudden realisation of uh, what has actually been going on uh, behind the scenes in the background um, hmm. and for some we are going to be taking this energy in our stride um, but for others it's going to feel quite uh, dramatic 
Uh, so there's going to be this energy of um, drama around this week. Uh, it's not yours, my wonderful friends, because you are... You came out of your slumber uh, quite a while ago, uh, and that's why Spirit is saying while all this chaos and drama is going on and being played out and it's necessary that this, this happens, uh, you go within. <laughs> yes, okay. And next we have the Nine of Pentacles. Sorry, friends, I didn't do the numerology. So 16 does become a, a seven when we do the reduction and one and six becomes seven. And seven is the number of spirituality and ma magic. Um, it's also the number of research I'm being reminded. Um, OK, so the real message here also from spirit is while all this drama is being played out, uh, stand back, just be the observer. Don't get involved. Don't don't give it your energy. Protect your energy. Protect your light, because moving forward, you are going to need it. I am hearing from spirit. The nine of pentacles, again, nine, the number of completion. So we are completing a cycle. Uh, we are definitely wrapping up a cycle. Uh, and this tower is very, very necessary. Um, pentacles, the element of earth, again, being reminded how important it is to do the earthing and the grounding. Um, in doing that, um, you are activating your root chakra, uh, where you lay your foundation, your solid secure foundation for the future and the nine of pentacles um, speaks of independence this lady has made her own um, money her own finances as um, uh, pentacles does talk of um, earthly things uh, materials resources at assets things of value and things that you value um, I'm really drawn to her. What was that lady's? Was it Carmen Miranda? <laughs> it's almost like a Carmen Miranda um, headwear there. Um, but it's the abundance. It's all of this abundance that is on the cusp of waiting to uh, come to you. Um, but we've got to have this tower moment first. We've got to remove the old, the stale, the stuck and the stagnant so that we can leave space for this new uh, time of abundance and prosperity um, to come in. I am so drawn uh, to this lady's uh, yellow top in, in this instance as I look at this card and yellow your your solar plexus your your inner power your power within uh, where you find clarity and um, energy and optimism um, and this power is your light. So, OK, you are recharging your batteries, recharging your light, getting ready for these dramatic and uh, moments and chaotic moments that are about to come with the understanding that it is necessary to remove all of that energy and leave space for this wonderful new energy to come in. <laughs> wow, wow, wow. OK, next we will have a card from the Sacred Light Oracle by Anna Stark. Thank you. No hesitation with the Sacred Light. And let's just lower the camera. I don't think we can. We might be able to go back a little more. Let me see. There we are. OK, your Sacred Light Oracle card is... Oh, you get number 12. <laughs> Divine Creation. Acceptance personal commitments and euphoria so when you are going within you are picking up and finding this euphoric state that does reside within you um this is your light okay uh numerology 12 <laughs> the trinity one plus two becoming the wonderful number three our thoughts words and actions what we mean we say we do and this is 
you because uh, I'm really drawn to this uh, image in the background being your um, heart chakra uh, so this reflection and introspection that you are going to be doing this week you are uh, going to be feeling around in your heart in your heart chakra um, what feels true what feels false and what am I moving towards okay so 12 divine creation is boundless it can transform your life into one of peace and joy having the awareness and experience of divine creation encourages you to love deeper have more compassion understand troubled souls and nurture all living creatures with loving abundance uncontrolled by religion or dogma divine love is always accessible you only need to open your heart and mind to receive its creative presence the life of divine creation is free-flowing and endless and knowing that you are worthy of accepting this divinity enhances your personal power oh yes friends with creative force divine creation is divine love and although the soul grasps this love openly the physical body cannot contain it divine love is intense and overwhelming often leaving a person momentarily euphoric when cultivated with a divine awakening under the wings of the ascension master goddess isis her aura can resurrect your spirit into life into a life filled with more love as she assists you to release guilt surrounding self-acceptance and family matters the magic of her presence is automatically uplifting protecting those that seek her her wisdom and guidance ascension master goddess isis asks that you release your old feelings of guilt mistrust vulnerability and betrayal Old relationship wounds, abuse and the violation of personal rights have stopped you from embracing your, yourself fully. Understand your personal needs on such an intimate level requires a self-loving attitude. Re-evaluate your circumstances after professional assistance. And Isis's message for you is making magic is an act of divine love divine love is divine creation and your sacred crystal is emerald and your affirmation i am safe sharing my vulnerability with others i am safe sharing my vulnerability with others i am safe sharing my vulnerable vulnerability with others now that's in contrast to the message i was being given about protecting your energy um but you can be vulnerable with your kindred spirits and your soul tribe those that uh, are on your level those that understand you and understand where you are coming from okay next we will have a card from uh, the Oracle of Mystical Moments, also by Katherine Veltz Stein. <clears throat> what is the message from Spirit for my wonderful friends? Thank you. <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay, your oracle of mystical moments for this week is 33. Wow, wow. Christ consciousness and the compassion of a master. Oh, you are truly mastering your your emotions, your your mind, your your consciousness, weaving flowers. Wow, wow, wow. So as this tower tower moment is occurring and there is chaos all around you are staying in that wonderful energy the compassion of a master being kind caring and compassionate to to those like i've said those sleeping beauties or some are just coming out of their slumber and they may be looking to you for um you know what's going on <laughs> what's been happening creator 
art of the universe and integration. So into integrating all of the, this is coming in, these energies. Here we see a woman gathering the delicate petals of blossoms and making them into flowers. It seems like she is weaving them together, bringing a greater whole into being. She is calm and concentrated on her work. This woman is a creator. She draws from the petals, falling from the sky and growing from the earth, and inspiration is all around. Gather it up to create a new whole. And Spirit is asking me to do that. That message, although it's wonderful, it's come under the Tower card because you are um what did it say you are staying calm and concentrated so you are staying calm and concentrated and focused on your future your direction what you would like to see in your world i am hearing <laughs> wow 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 okay well here we go the magic of unicorns by diana cooper whom I lovingly call my trusty steeds. And let's call on Ruby now, the kind red spirit. And here we go. Whoa! <laughs> I think there's too many there, Ruby. Yep. What is the message from Ruby, the kind red spirit, for my wonderful friends? Monday the 18th through to Friday, the 22nd of September, 2023. And your card from Ruby, the kind red spirit, is... Oh, Mahatma. No. <laughs> I know Mercury's gone direct, but we're still under the shadow. <laughs> Mahatma energy. Number 29. Build your light body to accelerate your ascension. <laughs> Ruby, this couldn't be more perfect. And I'm going to hold this closer. Can you see what is in the middle? If I do it at that angle. There it is. <laughs> A matching unicorn horn. Okay, numerology. Nine plus two, eleven. The number of illumination. So, illumination and enlightenment coming for you this week, my wonderful friends. Okay. And Ruby says, In the golden era of Atlantis, many great beings contributed towards a special pool of light. It formed a high frequency golden white group consciousness known as the Mahat Mahatma energy. Unicorns added their light to it, as did the Buddha, the Christ, the Twelve Rays and many others. The Mahatma energy accelerates your ascension 1,000 fold. It <laughs> accelerates your ascension, friends, 1,000 fold. When you choose this card, your unicorn is inviting you to call the Mahatma energy in through your 12 chakras to activate them to their highest potential. Ask it to flow through your energy systems to break up and clear old patterns that no longer serve your growth and to keep the glands that govern your health and spiritual well-being strong and active. Also send it to others to help their health and their ascension. When the Mahatma energy flows through you, it forms a pool of high frequency light in the earth below your feet. Your unicorn is asking you to offer it to Lady Gaia to help the planet to ascension. Your guidance is to invoke your unicorn and ask it to hold you in the highest possible light. Then invoke the Mahatma energy to build your crystalline light body and prepare yourself for the new golden age. And Ruby said to call in the Mahatma energy. Be aware of your unicorn holding the light for you. Invoke the Mahatma energy. Sense its golden white light flowing down into your stellar gateway, your soul star and your 
and your causal chakras. Let it pour into your crown, your third eye, your throat, your heart chakras, then your solar plexus, navel, sacral and base chakras. Let it stream down through your earth star chakra, which is a silver ball beneath your feet, to form a great pool of light below you and visualise it spreading out to all parts of the world. Now let the Mahatma energy spread over and through your entire energy fields, breaking up any old vibrations and building your crystalline light body. Know that this is accelerating your ascension and your affirmation is Mahatma energy flows through me, Mahatma energy flows through me, Mahatma energy flows through me and so it is. Whoa, okay. We have three, uh, all in gold, the colour of the sacred divine masculine. The first of which we have is um, a, a starfish. Um, and starfishes are about uh, regeneration. They can lose a limb and, and then regrow it. Um, they also do represent... Um, oh patience and healing and sensitivity they are um, they come up from deep uh, in the ocean so I'm feeling almost like the, a water sign energy um, it's actually going wanting to go on the hermit because you you are regenerating yourselves friends you have been really working hard on yourselves changing yourselves on the inside it's going to be showing up on the outside okay next you have a wonderful four leaf clover. <laughs> oh, it's a lucky, lucky time coming up, my wonderful friends. Um, and each leaf, it does, it represents um, its health, wealth, love and respect. And it's going on the nine of pentacles. OK, and last but by no means least, you get a ring. And this ring, it wants to go on the divine creation. This is the um, alchemizing, the uh, marriage, if you like, uh, between you and spirit. And it's absolutely beautiful, my wonderful friends. Wow, wow, wow. Well, thank you for all of your likes, your shares. Welcome, new subscribers. Thank you so much for your support. You have joined a wonderful family of kindred spirits. And thank you too for your warm, kind, encouraging comments and emails. I really enjoy receiving them, so do keep them coming. And so, my wonderful friends, may favour be with you all, as I wish you a joyful a peaceful and a truly blessed week. And until next time, my friends, goodbye.